Hi, I'm Gerald Pohl and welcome to my iron farm tutorial for Minecraft Bedrock. This is quite a simple design. So the requirements for an iron golem to spawn in Bedrock is 21 beds and 10 villagers. So this will form the basis for our design. When the requirements are met, an iron golem will spawn within a 16 by 16 by 6 high area around the centre of the village, which is defined by a bed or a bell. Don't worry, a bell is not required for this design. You could use a bell by placing it above the lava pit, be three blocks above the lava pit. That could actually reduce the size of the spawning platform by two all around. So you actually could bring the platform in and make it a little smaller. But in this design here, the beds are aligned to the lava pit and uh, each bed is eight blocks from the edge. So it does not matter which bed is the center point of the village all the spawning blocks are within the area required for the golem to spawn on. The golem will spawn in, land in the water and be brought into the lava trap and harvested below. To build this farm you will need the following. Some blocks, some stairs, 21 beds, 2 chests, 14 hoppers, so strictly we can get away with 5 or 6, some water some lava, four signs, a slab, and villagers. I'm going to be spawning some villagers in, but if you're in survival, you're going to have to get them to your farm by means of water or minecarts. Okay, let's get started. So let's dig a hole. I'm going to dig it two by two and three deep. Next, we're going to build and dig another hole around this initial hole, like so. Initially, it's going to be just one deep. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place a bed there. There, uh, there, there. Uh, there, like so. Now we're going to drop into our hole and we're going to dig under the beds, like so, and now we're going to place beds underneath these beds, like so. Okay. So that should give us of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We need one more bed, so we'll just put it there. Now we are going to build our track for our hoppers. Okay, so it's going to be along here. So we're going to go 10 blocks. So 1, three, so that's one two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna dig up and we're gonna place our chest here. Like so, I'm gonna dig down to it. And place another one there. Okay. Now we're gonna run a line of hoppers into this chest. Like so. Now you don't have to strictly have such a long line of hoppers. You can just have them in about here and fit into the chest and have a tunnel going underneath all of this. But the risk of that is that you may get some cats spawning down your tunnel and therefore your thing will not be running just quite as efficiently as it should be. Next we're going to break away this block here and we're going to place our stone slab down here. Like so. Okay, next thing to do is to fill in this. We're going to fill this all up. Like this. We're going to leave this one here, this hole here empty. And we're going to fill in the rest of this. Like so. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is place some signs down. So we're going to go around to the side here. And we're going to shift click on this here and place a sign there and there. And go around to the far side 
and do the same like so okay the next thing we're going to do is we are going to fill this area in so what we're going to do is we're going to start at this point here so this is our center now we're going to leave this hole here exposed because this is where we're going to be storing our villagers we'll put them in near the end so this around our center point like so okay so once we have our center point we're going to go out in all directions here and we're going to build a square so what we need to do is go out nine like that or nine this way like so like so there we go So from the center point we should be 10 blocks in total, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yep, which keeps us in line with this bit of a wall here, which is perfect. Too far there. Okay. And let's see in this way here. Bring this round. Like so, okay, so now we should be left with a 22 by 22 square. So all that's left now is just to fill this area in. Now that we've it all filled in, we're going to go around the edge and build a small wall around the perimeter. Okay, so this is our perimeter. And in each corner, build up. Hit, uh, the corner like so, two blocks high. Like this. And like this. Next, we're going to hit our stone stairs, and we're going to run along the tower wall like so and again along all four sides like this okay now we're complete this is our enclosure so in here we have our beds and then from our beds the whatever one becomes the village center we are eight blocks to this wall here, so any mobs that will spawn in this here will be within these walls. Okay, so now we can actually spawn in our villagers. And we want 10 villagers for this farm. I think that was a kid in there, so let's throw an additional one in. Okay. So there's our villagers in and we can then seal up this hole as well. So 
There we go. That's our villagers trapped in there. So our farm is almost complete. All we need to do now is get our water and our lava in place. So what we'll do is we'll put our lava in here. So above the sign here, you're going to put in. You can use one bucket of lava if you want. Or you can use four to get it nice and smooth. Okay. Now all we need to do is get our water placed. Before we place the water, we're going to put down a few stone blocks in each of these corners. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I will, uh, I will build out like so. And we'll do the same in each of these here. So we're coming out five. Like this. Okay. So once we have that done, we are then going to place a bucket of water in the corner of these two things and the water should flow down like so. Okay, and once we have done that, we are then going to place a block underneath our water block, like so, and then two blocks either side of that block, and then another three blocks in front of those two blocks, like so. Okay. We're going to repeat the process on each of the corner, our remaining three corners. Place a block underneath our water block, then two in front of that block, and then three in front of that block, like so. Now over here, place our water block, one underneath, two in front, and then three in front of those two. Uh, the same over here. One underneath, two in front of that one, and then three in front of the like so. Now you can see our water still isn't getting close enough to the center, but we're going to fix that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start building these out like this. So we'll build out. I'm So you can see two additional ones is just not quite enough. So we'll go another one on this side. Another one on this side, like so. So as you can see, we are getting closer. So we'll build like these other ones as well. So. Like so, and so we are getting there. Uh, okay, so we have one more row to go on all four sides. I skip the block there, yes, I did. Okay, like so. So where should we left with just these last few blocks? And all we need to do there is place a block here and here. Here and here. Here, here. And here and here. So now you'll see our water is now pouring directly into our lava trap in the middle, which is perfect. And there you have it, our iron farm. So all we need to do now is wait and iron columns should start spawning, cats will start spawning as well and uh, they will then be 
get it into the lava trap which will kill them and then they'll be deposited into our hoppers which will then feed our chest oh and one additional thing that i have to do actually is to go to each of the corners and <coughs> get some stairs like so this is just to stop any mobs spawning on the top of these and falling off the edge and away from our farm like so okay so that should be us complete now and there we have it an iron golem spawned in and into a hard lava trap it goes okay so down here You'll see the iron will start to filter down and through. I've already had a couple, there we are. There's our iron filtering in, and a couple of puppies, which are useful for if you need red dye, and some string from the cats that are left over. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe, and check out my channel for more Minecraft guides and tutorials. Thanks for watching.